Hey guys, I'm Nick from Micro Center. I'm sure you've seen in Excel 2013 some of those macros where you can double click and check something or double click and change the color, things like that, and you want to know where they're located, how you can change them, and how you can change the settings for them. They're actually hidden in the developer tab for Excel, but that's also hidden as well. So what we're going to show you today is how to find the developer tab and how to see the scripts and macros that are being used, change them in a way, and things like that. So let's get started. All right, we're at the desktop of Windows 8. Let's take a look at our example Excel spreadsheet here and see what we can find out. So we'll go ahead and open it up. This is our basic to-do list. This is one of the templates that Microsoft has from the get-go. You can see the far left-hand side here, they have some basic macros. If I put a zero, I can remove the check mark. If I put a one, check mark comes in, slash through all of these words here, which means that I've done this on my to-do list or haven't done it if it's not been checked yet. So what can you do with this? Well, let's take a look at the top here and see if we can find our developer tab, which is where they're located. Well, it doesn't look like there's actually a developer tab up here. So let's go ahead and get that up here. We'll go to File, we'll go to Options, and Customize Ribbon. On the far right hand side here, you'll see that the developer is not checked. This is the default. So we want to check that. So we'll click on it to check it, click OK at the bottom, and voila, there is our developer tab. You can, from here, view the Visual Basic code, which can be shown here and it's just some coding behind it all and you can copy and paste these into different Excel spreadsheets by accessing the developer tab, adding a new project, things like that. Um, you can view the macros, you can actually make your own macro, um, some add-ins, things like that, downloads that you can get for Excel, you can import new ones if you write for Visual Basic or you found one online that is useful to you. Um, let's say you work for a company and they've made a um, source code for you to use inside Excel for your spreadsheet you can click on import, find the file, and bring it into here. Um, you can view the XML source code here if there is one built into it, things like that. So, this again, to be found, file, options, and we'll go to customize ribbon, and make sure the develop, developer tab is checked. You can modify these from here, things like that. You can even organize where they sit in the ranks. So, we'll click OK, and now it's moved over here. Still the same stuff as before all your stuff, Visual Basic, your macros, you can make your own macro, things like that. It's all still there, just in a different spot now. But that's pretty much where they're at in Excel and how to modify those. If you have more questions, feel free to contact us at microcentertech.com.